have trouble falling asleep because of your Adderall? Have trouble waking up because of your sleeping pills that you take because of your Adderall? Are you left in a fog from Xanax and constipated by Vicodin? If you answered yes to any of these questions, it's time to talk to your doctor about weed. Weed is a once daily, er, twice daily, am I right? Supplement that's been scientifically proven to treat many of the side effects that you're usually prescribed pills for. I can't tell you how many of life's little moments I missed out on because of the constipated fog I was in after my doctor prescribed Vicodin and Xanax. My daughter's first steps, walking her down the aisle. I was done being spaced out, messed up on the toilet all the time. That's when I talked to my doctor about weed. Weed is non-habit forming, no matter what Big Pharma or your middle school dare instructor tells you. It was tough seeing my dad in pain after his accident. It was just as tough seeing him zonked out on prescription pills. He was so forgetful. But now, he won't stop remembering stuff. Do you remember that first episode of Lost? And you, they were in the jungle, and you were like, what is that? And then they looked back on it, and it was a polar bear? I don't think they ever explained that. Symptoms of weed include extreme nostalgia, hunger, drowsiness, spontaneous laughter, and a newfound appreciation for the songs you already thought you liked. Hey, you guys remember Ace of Bass? That was a cool group. <laughs> Symptoms of weed do not include insomnia, loss of appetite, nausea, headaches, muscle spasms, inflammation, seizures, physical dependency, or the risk of overdose. So if you're one of the 119 million Americans taking prescription drugs and suffering from these symptoms, weed might be for you. And if you're not taking prescription drugs but just want to chill the f out, weed might also be for you. Weed. What side effects, man?